Did you know this fish is more closely related to mammals like you and other tetrapods than it is to other fishes? Coelacanths are incredibly important in the study of evolution. They were previously known only from fossils and thought to have gone extinct over 65 million years ago. In the 1930s, Marjorie Courtney Latimer found one in a local fisherman's catch in South Africa. This was a huge discovery. Coelacanths are known from the Comoros Islands between Africa and Madagascar, but also other coastal areas of Eastern Africa and in Indonesia. And these are unique fishes. They have an interesting caudal fin called a diphocircle tail. They possess a rostral organ in the snout, likely allowing them to detect prey in dark environments. They also have an intracranial joint in the skull that acts like a hinge and allows the front part of the head to swing up, which means they can really enlarge their gape when opening the mouth. And coelacanths are ovoviviparous, meaning females retain fertilized eggs internally, and after gestation, females give birth to live young, called pups, which resemble adult coelacanths, just smaller. Coelacanths are part of the Sarcopterygii, or lobe fin fishes, and one of the groups that gave rise to tetrapods, four-limbed animals, including us. This coelacanth has fins, but they're at the end of these appendages, which have internal bony elements and muscles. This lobe is the equivalent of my arm. By having research specimens like these, we can continue to learn more about fishes, but also about vertebrate evolution.